Hey everyone, I'm Mike Sattel of Sattel Tutoring, and this is a practice ACT timer meant to help you simulate the real ACT experience. I'll tell you when to start and stop each section, including the essay at the end, plus I'll tell you when you have five minutes left and when to take breaks, just like the proctor shit on test day. Taking full-length practice tests is an essential part of any ACT prep plan. It's especially important for the ACT because it's such a fast-paced exam. You need to get comfortable with rushing through the sections, so practice watching the clock so you know you're moving at the right pace. If you're looking for more practice, you should definitely subscribe to this channel and visit my website. I'm constantly posting helpful videos and practice materials. Well, let's get started. You have 45 minutes to work on this test. Open your booklet to test one, read the directions carefully, and begin work.
You have five minutes remaining in this section.
Stop work and put your pencil down. There's no break between tests one and two on the ACT, so we're gonna keep going. All problems on the mathematics test can be solved without a calculator. However, you are allowed to use a calculator on this test. You have 60 minutes to work on this test. Do any figuring in your test booklet. Turn to test two, read the directions carefully, and begin work.
You have five minutes remaining in this section.
Stop work and put your pencils down. You will now have a 10 minute break. The proctor won't say this on test day, but I encourage you to actually get up and walk around. It's a long test, so take advantage of the break to recharge and reset.
Okay, let's get back to the test. You have 35 minutes to work on this test. Turn to test three, read the directions carefully, and begin work.
You have five minutes remaining in this section.
Stop work and put your pencils down. You have 35 minutes to work on this test. Turn to test four, read the directions carefully, and begin work.
You have five minutes remaining in this section.
stop work and put your pencils down. At this point, if you're taking the essay, you will probably have another five minute break, maybe even a little bit longer as the proctor reads some instructions and collects the booklets. I definitely recommend that you take advantage of the break by getting up and stretching if you can. You have five minutes.
Okay, let's get back to the test. You have 40 minutes to work on this test. Open your test booklet, read the assignment, and begin work.
You have five minutes remaining in this section.
Stop work and put your pencils down. Congratulations on finishing a tough test. I promise the practice will pay off. As you check your answers, try to figure out why you got certain questions wrong. What can you change to make sure you don't make the same mistake next time? You should definitely subscribe to this channel for more practice videos and visit my website for actual practice questions. Also, I do a limited amount of one-on-one -on -one online tutoring, so if there's anything on this test that you're having trouble with or weaknesses you want to work on, I might be able to help you out. Visit my website for details. Once again, I'm Mike Sattel of Sattel Tutoring. Thanks for watching.